around the seeds. And then the seeds are out. So and then what I do is usually take it and flatten it. Get it nice and flat. And then I'm just going to cut it and just cut it in thin strips. And then let's go ahead and chop it into little, um, little bits. And then the other ingredient we've got here is some chopped olives. Raw olives usually have not been heat treated in any way. And the other difference between raw olives and regular olives is they don't usually have any chemicals, preservatives in them. So sun-dried olives usually are what we can get. Okay, and then one other ingredient we can do is a tomato. We just cut to one side of the tomato. Then you make a V there. See that? Get that little V out, and then you're done. Always any rolly fruit you want to, or vegetable you want to turn over so it's safer, and then you can cut that in really nice thin slices. You know, I like to, I want to chop them in little bits too, because we'll have some little tomato bits to sprinkle on this, on the uh, pizza. Okay, and the only other thing I might be interested in putting on my pizza is some basil, and I'm going to show you what's called a chiffonade cut. What you do is you take your basil leaves and you stack them up. I'm going to take the stems off, and then um, you're going to roll it really tight. And then after I have the tight bundle, I'm going to start at one end and cut a ribbon cut. And this is called a chiffonade. Oh, good. And it helps it's to so make it efficient. super thin. And then I can just go and chop it coarsely again. And then I'll have some basil to sprinkle on top of oh, my I love the smell. pizza. Shall we top our pizza? Do you want to bring the pizza Sounds over? Sounds great. Okay. Oh, wow. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put our sauce on. So we'll put that on there. These are going to be super yummy. And then we're going to do the cheese. This is my favorite part. Do you want to do this part? I'll show you how to do one and then you can do it. Okay, so we're going to take one corner and get all the cheese out of there. And then don't cut the hole too big. I would say that's like a quarter inch maybe off the corner. I'll do one and then I'll let you do the rest. I like spirals, so I'm going to do spiral cheese like this. Whee! This is the... <laughs> and kids the love this, so they can make their, they can decorate their, their pizza. Ever seen. It's Cheese Whiz. This is so cute. You want to uh, do the other one? Sure, there. go for it. I'll do one like this. Yeah, get creative. Like, I feel like this is my creative outlet. I get in the kitchen and just start having fun I, with I my food. Cooking can be so much fun. I know. Look at that. <laughs> now we have extra cheese left over. The, you mean. can keep this in the fridge for uh, two weeks. Oh. Because the miso will preserve it. Let's put the zucchini on next. And then next we'll put some tomatoes on. Just a couple of sprinkles here and there. <laughs> so I'm going to put tomatoes on that part and we'll put peppers on this side. Oh. To be something about the red and the yellow and the green. Nice. You know, we eat with our eyes, so it's important to make our food vibrant. And did you know that the color of the food has a different nutrient? It's mm -hmm. called a phytonutrient that's in the color of like the skin, like a carrot or um, a pepper. And those different colors actually feed us differently, so it's really important to have a variety of colors. Right. And you can just lightly sprinkle the basil over the top. Yes. Okay, and then let's do some olives. And then if you want, you can have the onions. Um, so now that you've got your pizza made, you can pop it back in the dehydrator for another 15, 20 minutes, an hour even, you know, while you're waiting for your guests to come or before dinner. And then you can take it out and it'll be nice and warm. A lot of people think with raw foods you have to eat it cold, but right. you can warm it up. It's really nice. This one could be eaten almost like a calzone. You can just fold it up and eat it. But you could also cut this into four and eat it like this. Just, just try and get your knife in one swoop like that. And then we can put it on our plate. 
If you were coming over to someone's house and they had this for you, I don't think they would miss the traditional cheese pizza. What I love about raw organic vegan food and raw food is that I feel like I'm eating like a king all the time or like a queen. And I get to eat the best food that the planet has to offer. It gives me energy. It feeds my soul. It's just the most amazing food that we can have. And we always think of raw food salad. And wow, look at this. Yeah, <laughs> this is not salad. I don't see any salad on there. Yeah, that's like amazing. Yeah, and you're going to feel good after you eat this. You're going to be like ready to go out and run around the block. So shall we have a bite? You ready? That was, that, that was what I was waiting for yeah. all the time. I'm going to fold mine up. Okay, <laughs> cheers, cheers, toast. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. You have to try this. <laughs> this is so good. Flavorful. Amazing. Huh? Mm. You cannot really tell. There's raw food. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what about this? It's so good. Yeah. You wouldn't know it was raw. It's and like the cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. You can really um, flavor it. It's so good. Mm. This is so good. Oh, Elena, thank you so much for being here with us. We enjoy it. It's been such a pleasure to be here today. I'm just so happy to be able to share this with all of you. I'm so appreciative to uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai for bringing this out to the planet. My whole motto is to bring a pure joy planet to the world, and I feel like this is just so in line with that. And I'm just really grateful that this show exists and that all of these uh, amazing people are here. I can just really feel the love and the energy. Thanks for joining us on Vegetarianism, The No Way of Living. The delightful Miss Elena Love will be back with us on a future episode of Vegetarian Elite. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. May the spirit of smiles and laughter uplift your cheerful soul.